Hey everyone. One thing I haven't talked enough about on this channel is hydroponic spinach. So I want to talk about that today. I've got three spinach plants growing here in my hydroponic rail system. And these three plants have given us more spinach than we can eat. So they're very productive plants. With lettuce, I like to harvest the entire head all at once. And that seems to work out really well. It's easy to store, looks nice, it's easy to give away to someone if you wanted to do that. But with spinach, I've been doing cut and come again. So every week I cut off a couple of the leaves, if you can see, kind of the old stems where I've cut leaves off. And then the plant just sends out new leaves and replaces what you've cut. So you kind of have a continuous supply from just a few plants. And that's been really nice. These have been going a couple weeks already. And I think they can go at least several more weeks before I have to plant a new plant. They grow really well next to lettuce in the hydroponic system. They have they seem to do well with similar nutrients, similar lighting, similar conditions. So you don't need to make a separate rail system to grow spinach. You can just grow a couple plants right alongside lettuce if that's what you're doing. The main difference I found with growing spinach versus growing lettuce is the germination time. So lettuce is almost always germinating within two days of planting. With spinach, it seems to take at least a week usually, sometimes up to two weeks for the seed to germinate. So it gets a slow start, a lot slower than lettuce. So one thing I like to do is put something to cover the top of the plugs while the seed is germinating. So you can use a board or cardboard or basically anything that can block the light so that it's not hitting the top of the seed plug while the seed is germinating. And that'll keep the algae from starting to grow. Because after a week or two, if the plant hasn't grown and shaded out the top of the seed plug, then algae can start to grow. So covering the top of it gives the plant some time to germinate before the algae starts. So that's one, one main difference when growing spinach versus lettuce. But otherwise, it's very similar. If you were designing a system just for spinach, then I would suggest you may want to use a little bit bigger spacing between the plants. So you can see here, I've got two plants and there's actually an empty spot in between and they're almost filling in that whole gap. So with lettuce, I'm generally doing an eight inch spacing. That's what the spacing is there. With spinach, if you were designing a system just for spinach, I think you'd want to do at least 10 inch spacing. But if you're just adding it into your lettuce system, don't worry too much about the spacing being a little bit tight. Just account for that and keep harvesting so that you keep it from spreading out. You can harvest the sides and then let the top grow taller. And similar to lettuce, I'm just using a one and a half inch net cup. Can't even see it down there. But I'd, I'm not using a two inch net cup. You could, that might work a little better, again, if you were just doing spinach. But I found a one and a half inch net cup works fine and then you can move it around right in your same system with lettuce. So if you're already growing hydroponic lettuce, and you want to add spinach, I'd say go right ahead. It's it's not going to change a whole lot about what you do. And you could just put one or two plants in on one of the edges of your system, and you can get a whole bunch of spinach right alongside the lettuce that you're already harvesting. And if you haven't built a hydroponic system and you're interested in learning more about that, I have a website where I show you a tutorial on how to build systems like this and how to set them up and run them. I also have an online video course if you want a video version of that. So check those out if that's something that you'd like. And thanks for watching.